It's been almost six years since the last title in the Forza Motorsport series, which is pretty crazy considering its reputation as one of the best racing sim franchises. Turn 10 Studios supported Forza Motorsport 7 for a long time after its launch in October 2017 for Xbox One and PC, but has also been working hard on the next iteration in the franchise. Forza Motorsport, which launches on October 10th for Xbox Series X and S and PC, is a reboot of the series and revamps several aspects while adding new content. How does the reboot fare compared to its predecessor? What areas does it excel in and how does it falter in others, at least at launch? Here are 15 of the biggest differences you should know about. Number of Cars Forza Motorsport is launching with over 500 vehicles, though 30 more are confirmed to arrive in the car pass over the next several months. Manufacturers like Audi, Aston Martin, Ford, Ferrari, Lamborghini, Jaguar, Nissan, Porsche, and many more have been confirmed. While you can expect plenty of vehicles from the previous games, over 100 are new, like the 2023 number no. 1 Cadillac V-Series R and the 2024 Chevrolet Corvette E-Ray that graced the game's cover art. When Forza Motorsport 7 launched, it featured over 700 cars from manufacturers like Aston Martin, Audi, Alfa Romeo, Chevrolet, Ferrari, Lamborghini, Lancia, Nissan, Noble, Mitsubishi, and many more. It featured the return of Volkswagen, which skipped Forza Horizon 3, the previous release, though production cars from Toyota and Lexus were cut. You also had Forza Edition cars that offered credit bonuses under certain conditions and performance improvements. By the end of its lifespan, the racing sim had about 834 cars, an impressive number. Number of Tracks Forza Motorsport 7 launched with 32 locations and over 200 different track configurations on the same. By comparison, Forza Motorsport offers 20 locations. While the number of layouts is unknown, there are multiple confirmed for each location. It may not seem like a lot, but there's more to the numbers than meets the eye. Forza Motorsport 7 features all the tracks from Forza Motorsport 6 and even some returning from Forza Motorsport 4. On the other hand, the reboot's tracks have been rebuilt from the ground up, and five are brand new to the franchise, like the Grand Oak Raceway. In terms of post-launch tracks, it's confirmed that the Nürburgring Nordschleife will arrive post-launch in Spring 2024. Visual Upgrades one look at both titles should prove that Forza Motorsport is a massive upgrade over its predecessor. Whether it's the fully animated 3D spectators, higher resolution materials and shaders for ray tracing, physically based lighting and volumetric fog, and procedural cloud system, the world feels more immersive to race in. Another noteworthy change to vehicles, which look more detailed and realistic on the outside and inside, is the use of a spectrophotometer for car paints. Turn 10 Studios revealed that by capturing multiple data points of light behavior on a surface, it could produce a paint mode with much more realistic light response across colors, metal flake, and gloss levels. It's all the more interesting considering how ray tracing works. Ray tracing support. The Forza series had some brushes with ray tracing, most notably Forza Horizon 5, which launched with it in Forza Vista before adding it to races in free roam on PC. Forza Motorsport 7 didn't use it, which makes sense given the hardware at the time, but the upcoming reboot is going even further beyond. It has ray tracing, which is, in creative director Chris Asaki's words, on track and real-time gameplay. I really want to make that clear. When we say on track, it doesn't mean it's only in replays or it's only in photo mode on track and we're just being funny with words. We're not trying to mislead you here. When you're racing and when you are playing the game, ray tracing is on. We want to be really clear about that. Thus far, ray trace reflections have been seen and Turn 10 confirmed ray trace global illumination on PC. How this performs in real time in 4K 60fps remains to be seen, but based on gameplay thus far, it's all working quite well. Tire Physics Changes Turn 10 Studios has remarked how the tire physics in Forza Motorsport are 48 times better than those in Forza Motorsport 7, but what does that mean? One example showcased a BAC mono on the Laguna Seca track approaching a corner and how the tires reacted to the turn based on a single contact point with a 60Hz refresh rate. Long story short, it wasn't very smooth. The reboot uses 8 contact points and runs at a 360Hz refresh rate, and when hitting the same corner on the same track with the same car, the deformation was smoother and more natural. It may seem subtle, but changes things substantially. Damage Model Changes The damage model in Forza Motorsport 7 is interesting to observe, especially compared to the 6th game. While it feels more impactful due to the camera work, the actual cosmetic damage from hitting a wall at full speed doesn't quite look the part. The deformation and chipped paint from colliding with the track sides also are on point, though the rear windshield can suffer some cracks after enough impact. By comparison, Forza Motorsport is much more realistic. You still won't see parts falling off cars, but the damage model allows for scraped paint, which is now directional, scratches, deformation, and broken glass. 
While the step up between generations is impressive on multiple levels, seeing just how much better the reboot is at showcasing cosmetic damage is crazy. Dynamic Time of Day When it launched, Forza Motorsport 7's Time of Day features were lackluster, and you had no control over what time a race took place. Forza Motorsport implements a fully dynamic time of day but goes beyond changing it as you race. Depending on the time, the ambient temperature can affect the track surface and significantly impact grip and rubbering in while racing. It sounds like it could fundamentally change how one approaches a race, but again, we'll need to wait and see how it pans out. Career Mode The Forza Drivers' Cup is Forza Motorsport 7's career mode and centers on championships. You start with the Seeker Championship and earn enough SP to unlock Breakout, repeating the process until the sixth and final championship, the Forza Drivers' Cup. Throughout each championship are open series and division-focused events, with players progressing and mastering the different divisions to succeed. Forza Motorsport's career mode is the Builder's Cup. It's a spiritual successor to Forza Motorsport 3 and 4, where you choose a car to race with and build it up over time. Racing series is focused on specific cars, as you get comfortable with sports cars like Porsche and Nissan before moving on to performance vehicles. You have open practice for trying out cars across different times of day and weather. You also have Car Mastery, where earning XP allows for leveling up a vehicle and earning skill points to unlock upgrades, with 800 upgrades in total. There's also Challenge the Grid, which grants better payouts based on changes made to race parameters, such as starting position and AI difficulty. Multiplayer Forza Motorsport 7 launched with a fair number of multiplayer features, from month-long competitive leagues with different race series, each lasting a week, to multiplayer hoppers, which supported up to 24 players and offered various restrictions with track voting. It's not the worst set of options, though it was far from fully fleshed out. By comparison, Forza Motorsport offers a live, real-world time-based mode of predefined live events. It's consolidating hoppers and leagues and offers events for different divisions. Open practice is available here, with players qualifying based on joining time, while qualified determines your starting position in a featured race. There's a new event every 30 minutes or so with different tracks, weather conditions, time of day, and more. You can choose from spec series, focused on identical cars with similar tuning, and open series, which allows for any car in the same class. Local Split Screen while Forza Motorsport 7 launched with local split-screen multiplayer, Forza Motorsport won't have the same, at least at launch. This is due to the team's heavy investment in pushing new graphical features and overhauling the rendering engine. It will be available after launch, but there's no timeline for when. Spectator Mode and AI Opponents in Multiplayer While Forza Motorsport 7 didn't allow for drive avatars in its multiplayer lobbies, it at least allowed for spectating races. Forza Motorsport is carrying on the tradition of the former due to the potential impact on your safety rating, but doing away with the latter, meaning you can't spectate featured races in the reboot. The reasoning is that players occupying slots for multiplayer events for spectating and not racing isn't in line with its vision. Never say never on it potentially being added post-launch, but it seems highly unlikely. System Requirements By today's standards, Forza Motorsport 7's PC requirements are pretty forgiving. It requires an Intel Core i5-750 with 2.67 GHz, or an AMD FX 6300, 8GB of RAM, and an NVIDIA GT740, GTX 650, or an AMD R7250X with 2GB VRAM for 720p 30fps gameplay. Recommended requirements include a Core i5-4460 with 3.2 GHz, or an AMD FX8350 with 8GB of RAM, and either a GTX 670, GTX 1050, or an AMD RX 560 with 4GB of VRAM. Ultra requirements for 4K 60fps require a Core i7-6700K with 4GHz or a Ryzen 7, 16GB of RAM, and a GTX 1080 or an AMD RX Vega 64 with 8GB of VRAM. You needed about 95 gigabytes to install it on PC. While Forza Motorsports requirements are definitely higher, they're also not insane. Minimum requirements include Intel Core i5-8400 or an AMD Ryzen 5 1600, 8GB of RAM, and an NVIDIA GTX 1060 or an AMD RX 5500 XT. Recommended specs include a Core i5-11600K or an AMD Ryzen 5 5600X, 16GB of RAM, and an RTX 2080 Ti or an AMD RX 6800 XT. For those looking to run the game in Ultra, you'll need a Core i7-11700K or a Ryzen 7 5800X, an RTX 480 or RX 790 XT and 16GB of RAM. A solid state drive with 130GB of installation space is required, with an NVMe SSD necessary for playing in Ultra. Loot Boxes For all of the positive things that Forza Motorsport 7 had at launch, one of its most controversial was price crates. 
It was a loot box style system that granted mods, cars, driver gear, and whatnot depending on the rarity. Key emphasis on was, since the backlash prompted their eventual removal. Fortunately, Forza Motorsport isn't flirting with the same idea, with the developer unequivocally clarifying that there are no loot boxes. Sound Sound design is just as important as visuals in a racing sim, and Forza Motorsport blazes some new trails. It's the first game in the series to be mixed natively for immersive audio formats like Windows Sonic and Dolby Atmos, and features hardware that accelerates convolution reverb which, as Turn 10 describes it, reproduces how sounds in Forza interact with an acoustic space, dynamically adapting to its surroundings and creating a realistic and detailed soundscape. The sound of your car also changes based on parts used, while tire and suspension audio are also improved over previous titles. Accessibility Features for its time, Forza Motorsport 7 offered decent accessibility options and eventually received a super easy mode. The latter turned off friction physics for specific surfaces, automatically braked on corners, and more. Forza Motorsport is making strides by implementing blind driving assist, screen narration, colorblind modes for the UI and world, the option to disable moving backgrounds, and more to go with controller remapping and other standard features. So what are your thoughts on this? Go ahead and share them in the comments below. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon to get new video updates. We upload every day and would really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.